It's Darren from Nurkle. I hope you're well. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about telehealth, as these are awesome ways to improve your practice, embrace change, and be ready for the future of healthcare. So setting up for telehealth is really easy to do. However, it's important you take some time to prepare so that your service looks professional. And all you need to do is focus on your patients from anywhere. Make sure you have a clean area, free from background noise. If you're doing a one-on-one -on -one consult, make sure you've got enough area to demonstrate the exercises or activities you want the patient to do. If you're undertaking a class, make sure you have the equipment prepared prior and also the ability to demonstrate yourself on the equipment so the patient can follow the activity or exercise that they need to do. Consider the technology that you want to use. The camera, the microphone, the internet connection. These are all really important. However, most devices that are internet ready today, your desktop, your smartphone, your tablet, they would all do the job well. However, I would recommend if you're going to undertake quite an intensive consultation online, buy a set of headphones as they help reduce the background noise. Choose the right video software for you. There are tons of options available for video conferencing online. You might be using FizzyTrack or CoreView within your Nookle account. However, you could use Google Hangouts, FaceTime, Skype or Zoom. Just make sure these options are suitable within your specific region. Make it easy for the patient to join the meeting. I would recommend setting up an SMS or email reminder with the link to the meeting. Also send them some material of what they need to do if they are unable to join the meeting, like a phone number to call. Ensure that you write clinical notes for the telehealth consult. Much like you would for a face-to-face -face consultation, it is a must that you write your clinical notes. This could take multiple forms. You could write them and upload them to the case files. You could type them as you're going along during the telehealth consult, or you can save the audio or video files. The most important thing here is there is a continuum of information. So another practitioner can pick up the file and understand what has been done. Also, in order to make sure the consult is smoother, it is important to gain consent. This can be done verbally at the start of the consult, but also via an electronic intake form that can be sent out to the patient prior to the consult date. Next, make a plan with your patient. Sometime during the consultation, it's important that you outline a plan of where you want the patient to be but you must continue to engage with them electronically as you're not getting the face-to-face -face contact you would in the consulting room. So there are a number of tools you can use to engage with the patient after the consultation has been completed. You've got exercise prescription software, PhysiTrack, TrackActive and PhysioTech, but you've also got a number of online marketing and communication tools that you can use to survey the patient, engage in recalls, or send out forms or, or information that you want them to read. After you've made the plan, it's important to schedule the next session. With online consultations, it's really important that you introduce into your workflow the ability to take online payments either prior to the consult or during the consultation. And there are a number of tools that will allow you to do this without an FPOS terminal and also schedule the next session because the patient won't be passing through reception like they would in a normal clinic. Finally, privacy. This is paramount if you are undertaking a telehealth consultation. Firstly, you must ensure that you comply with the telecommunications and privacy laws in your specific region. You must also ensure that the area you are undertaking the consult in is private. If you are unsure, please contact the professional body in your specific region to get more information. I hope you found this video helpful. Please stay safe and feel free to contact us at Nookle at any time. Thank you.